contact form 7 not submitting on a WordPress site. Today, thanks to one of Renkia fans informing me about the contact form 7 not sending. So if you have installed the version 501, in my case, I actually identify why is identified why this is happening for me. And that was because I actually use my own theme and I have a lot of functions that is custom made to set up for my own website, right? And what I've done is I've actually disabled the REST API. That means if you have manually added some functions to your functions.php file, which is to do with your theme. So if you added anything in here that you know of to do with REST API disabling, then you need to remove that function. But what if you didn't, and that will be the case for most uh, WordPress owners watching this video. What if you didn't do that and you're still getting this? It could be that you're using a plugin that actually disables the WordPress um, REST API. It could be site optimization plugins, page speed plugins, and so on. Most of them you're actually wasting time with anyway, right? Because to speed up a WordPress site, you actually can't really use plugins. <laughs> well, for example, there is many image optimizer plugins telling you that if you use this plugin, your site will load faster because it compresses the images and so on. But then you're giving away your Google rankings if you do that. I know that sounds silly, but it works like that. So REST API to do with your plugins. If you recently installed some plugins, that may be the case that is actually conflicting with WordPress 7, uh, contact form 7501. Okay. Now, if you look at that and say, no, 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 you know what? I didn't install any plugins, then I'm afraid you need to do a lot of troubleshooting. And if you actually find a quick and easy solution, please do comment on this video so we all know as to how you fixed contact form 7 not sending. So I won't talk much, but I'll just show you what I did to fix mine. Functions.php, under appearance, press on editor. You can surely modify this here, but that's not suggested. Instead, go to your web hosting manager, locate file manager, and go to document root for your website. While there, browse into public underscore HTML, WP hyphen content, and in here we can go to themes depending on the theme that you're using you need to locate functions.php file right click and download so you have a backup before you touch anything in here now then you can right click and press on edit in here you can search for things like okay let's search for rest api In my example, I removed some actions here. So I'm showing you my local copy because I actually don't want to give away removing this. So let's test this. If it's page, I know mine is named contact page in the permanent. So now let me say, okay, if is page only, then run this as in remove that action Well, sorry, if not is page, so I put that exclamation mark in front of that is page. So I can save this now. So you need to basically trouble, troubleshoot, make sure the REST API is enabled. Actually, before I upload this file, let's go and see how we can find Here, as you can see, nothing is being blurted out. 
so let's see if this fixes it let's put this up so i'm saying you know what only remove this rest api bizarre when it is not a contact page as in when it's a when it's not a page name contact so now if i refresh i should not see it but now let's see if i fix that issue let me refresh refresh this page let me press send because validation errors should come up in my example it's still not so then i need to actually comment this out then till i find a different solution to disable that to see if it's going to work because i only need that happening on this page so you know, i need to have rest api enabled on this page let's see if that can work so let's refresh now send as you can see now i'll be able to send emails so the contact form 7 will now work check this recapture bizarre and let's press send now that was sent no problems so that means mine boiled down to having these in my functions because I added them manually so now I know the contact form 7 is working because contact form 7501 actually requires WordPress rest API to be all working on your site so if i refresh this wp-json now i end up seeing all this gibberish data right that's json ld com. so you can test that to your website to see you know what when you request this let's see contact form 7 you can see there's many things to do with contact form 7 here so basically when you visit this URL pattern on your example website, then you should be able to see all this gibberish code. So that's the first thing that I would do. If you're not seeing this, then it's to do with whether it's functions that you're using or plugins you're using that is disabling WordPress REST API. So you need to enable that or else contact form 7501 is not working. As in it's not submitting i hope this video is of help and to be honest with you i hope you're actually not experiencing this issue if so i hope this video has helped you i thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and i'll talk with you in the next video session